Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see the most important three appearances that you should know for your oral pathology exams. And these three appearances they have, they have asked many times in exams. Let's see what are the important appearances. First one is hair on end appearance. Okay, first one will be your hair on end appearance. It is also known as crew cut appearance. Okay, it is also known as crew cut appearance or rib within a rib appearance. Okay. These are the other names for this appearance. You have to know all these three names. That is your hair on end appearance, crew cut appearance and rib within a rib appearance. And where do you find these three, this hair on end appearance? That is, this is usually seen in thalassemia and also sickle cell anemia. If they ask in your exam, you can write in this any any one you can write. But you should remember all these three names of this appearance. Hair on end appearance or crew cut appearance or rib within a rib appearance. Now, what is this hair on end appearance? Okay. This is the thickening of trabeculae as the diploid space expands. Okay. And these trabeculae are perpendicular in orientation. This is usually seen in these skull radiographs. Okay. This appearance, it is usually seen in the skull radiograph. And here, there will be the thickening of the trabeculae. Alright. Thickening of the trabeculae as diploid space. As the diploid space expands. What is the diploid space? That is the medullary cavity in the skull. Medullary cavity of the skull, right? And when it gets expands, there will be a thickening of trabeculae. And what happens is that it appears like a long, thin, vertical striations that resembles hairs standing on the ends. Suppose in the skull, it appears like this. The long, thin, vertical striations that resembles like hair standing on the ends. This is known as the hair on end appearance. Okay. Just remember, you have to remember hair on end appearance, crew cut appearance or rib within a rib appearance. It is seen in thalassemia or sickle cell anemia. Okay. It is the thickening of trabeculae as the diploid space expands. And it looks like a long thin vertical variations or striations that resembles the hair standing on the ends. This is the first important appearance you should remember for your exam. Alright. Coming to the second most important appearance. That is your cotton wool appearance. Okay, second important appearance is the cotton wool appearance. This is the important appearance and where you can see this appearance? It is seen in Paget's disease. Okay, Paget's disease also seen in central hemangioma and also in Chronic diffuse sclerosing osteomyelitis. Okay. Paget's disease, central hemangioma, chronic diffuse sclerosing osteomyelitis. 
This is the cotton wool appearance. What is this cotton wool appearance? That is, in early stage, there will be radiolucency and alteration of the trabecular pattern. That is, in early stage, there will be osteoclastic phase. And in the later stage, there will be osteoblastic. That is, there will be a patchy areas of sclerotic bone is formed. This or mixed osteoclastic and osteoblastic phase forms the patchy mixed radiolucency. That is known as the cotton wool appearance. It's nothing but it is the mixed osteoclastic and osteoblastic phase. Okay. In which it forms like patchy mixed radiolucency. That is the patchy mixed radiolucency. Okay. This is the cotton wool appearance. It looks like a cotton wool appearance. This patchy mixed radiolucency. The both osteoclastic and osteoblastic phase. Okay. This is the cotton wool appearance. It is very important. It is seen in Paget's disease. First one. Second one will be your central hemangioma. And third one will be your chronic diffuse sclerosing osteomyelitis. You can write any one of this in your exam if the cotton wool appearance is asked. If you remember all these three, it's well and good. It will fetch you more marks. Alright. Now let's move on to the third most important appearance. Third appearance is your ground glass appearance. Okay. Ground glass appearance. This is very important appearance. Okay. Where you can find this? It is usually seen in fibrous dysplasia. Okay. It is seen in fibrous dysplasia. And then it is also seen in cherubism. Okay. As well as in hyperparathyroidism. It is seen in fibrous dysplasia, cherubism and also seen in hyperparathyroidism. They can even ask you in fibrous dysplasia the other name which is known as the onion peel appearance. It is the onion peel appearance. Okay. Now, what is this ground glass appearance? That is, the periphery of the radiolucency will be ill-defined and it appears to blend to the surrounding normal bone. This radiographic thickening of the skull base is your ground glass appearance. Okay. What happens? The periphery of radiolucency. Okay. Periphery of radiolucency, it will be ill defined. Okay, and it appears to blend to the surrounding normal bone. And so, this will appear like the thickening of the skull base, it gives the ground glass appearance, otherwise, the onion peel appearance in fibrous dysplasia. Alright, so where you can find the ground glass appearance that is in fibrous dysplasia. First one and second one is the cherubism and hyperparathyroidism. The most important appearances. Now what are the three important appearances that you should remember for your exam? First one is your hair on end appearance. Otherwise known as crew cut appearance or rib within a rib appearance. It is seen in thalassemia and sickle cell anemia. Second important is the cotton wool appearance. It is seen in Paget's disease or central hemangioma 
or chronic diffuse sclerosing osteomyelitis and the third one is your ground glass appearance seen in fibrous dysplasia, cherubism and hyperparathyroidism. These are the most three important appearances that you should know for your exam and it is repeatedly asked in your exams also. And so yeah that's all for today's video. If you like the video hit the like button, share my video and subscribe my channel. If you have any queries comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Thank you.